I think you have remarkable stamina. Look at you, you're still there. <laughs> so let's see, I have some thank yous. In addition to all the people that I thank you, I, th I thanked um, during Monday, I have to thank all of you, the ones that are here, the ones that left, <laughs> um, for a very, very high quality presentations. And um, you know, the, the, the young ones, our young ones, um, are phenomenal. So, for, of course, the, the seasoned people have done it many times. But, but I went to a few presentations, I heard you talking in, in workshops, I heard you talking in the corridors, great. The future is, is a, for ITBI is going to be phenomenal. Travel behavior research will have plenty of minds in the in the future. Um, the, the the presentations also are becoming good papers because I heard quite a bit of you are, are racing for the August first deadline. The papers go to kudos and then they end up in our hands for reviews. Don't worry, we'll be kind. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The workshops were experiments, believe it or not. Um, the topics came out of the abstracts of the papers as we were receiving them in the fall. Um, a couple of them came as suggestions from the chairs, and um, they worked very well. Um, I had no idea what the outcome will be, but after today I feel way, way better. <laughs> And um, the, 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 the second part of this experiment was give very few instructions to a few really experienced and knowledgeable people, and you saw what came out. Remarkable. So congratulations. Give a good hand to yourselves. Now, this is like resilience. You fortify yourself before the conference. The conference is a disaster. <laughs> and then you have to recover. So a few words about recovery. Um, the water temperature at the Golita Beach is 70 Fahrenheit. This is about 20 Celsius. The water is clean. You can go swimming um, if you dare. There are no sharks, I guarantee you. Um, Cara Kogelman is organizing a, a, an IATBR World Cup. Um, I'm not sending your email out, so they will come and talk to you. Uh, but she needs to check out a couple of soccer balls. So if my students are willing to do that, Kara is going to pay you $150 for each ball. So. <laughs> She's from Texas. They have oil. Okay, all right, okay. So this is a little bit of a bittersweet moment for me. Because it is bitter because I have to say goodbye to you. Who knows where I'm going to see you again, maybe in three months somewhere. So it's like um, your children, you have them at home, and then they decide to go away and say, oh, no, please stay. But you are insisting to leave Santa Barbara. What can I do? I have to let you go, continue your life somewhere else. And I will say arrivederci, chiaramente. And um, the, but it's sweet though, because the conference is over. <laughs> and it's even sweeter because, do I make the announcement? All right, the next conference will be in a country that is beautiful, with, um, um, inhabited by great people, and it's by water, right next to water. Where do you think it is? No, those of you that win, won, don't, don't, don't say a word. Fiji. It's better than Fiji, actually. I've been in both places. I, I prefer the country. You cannot guess? It is in South America, and it's Chile, and they wrote a good proposal. Uh, the organizers would like to have a word. So I'm, I'm gone. That's it. You're not going to see me again. So let's see what we're going to do in three more years. What do we have planned for you? Of course, I have a presentation. Well, they actually put my name on the title, so it was a kind of spoiler. 
but hopefully nobody noticed. Because maybe you know me, I don't know. Uh, so well, if you go to the website and see where has ITBR take, to take place, you'll see this map, which I made yesterday with a lot of love. And you'll see that South America and also Africa are a bit lonely. We only had one conference, one ATBR conference in South America. It was in the mid-90s, 1994, organized by Juan de Dios Ortuzar. And it was on the Andes Mountains on a really nice ski resort. So I'm really happy to welcome you back in three more years, back in Chile, back in South America. I did not attend that conference in 1994. I was nine years old, so I was in fourth grade. I barely knew what a multinomial it was. So for me, it's an honor to welcome ATVR 2021 back in Chile. And And if you look at Chile at the map, you'll see it's a long and narrow country. So you can go from the Andes Mountains to the Pacific Ocean in about an hour and a half. So last time it was in the mountains, now we're staying on the beach, on the Pacific. Uh, the conference is gonna be organized by my university, the Pontificia Universidad Católica de Chile. This is our campus. You can compare with Santa Barbara as well, and you see some differences, of course. Uh, but it's not gonna be in Santiago, as I mentioned. Um, I'll skip the statistics to the time, and this is the organizing committee. I will have the honor of chair it, uh, along with the uh, three dearest colleagues, uh, Ricardo Urtubia, who was here but had to leave uh, because he's looking for places to hold the conference. We are that efficient. Uh, Juan de Ortuza, of course, is going to be part of the committee as well, and Luis Ignacio, Ignacio Risi. So we are the four in charge of spamming you with emails and information and everything related to ATVR for the next three years. So you can wait for those emails. Uh, I'm sure that many of you have already been to Chile, uh, hopefully participating in, on one of our recent conferences. We have organized uh, four major conferences in the last six years uh, on public transport, which was in 2012, uh, also on Threadbo, uh, more recently, Transit Data, which is now going to take place in Australia, and last year also mobilized. So those who have had the chance to uh, visit one of those conferences, you know that everything is gonna be sure, everything's gonna be fine, everything's gonna be great. You're gonna have a great time, and maybe work a little bit, but we'll see about that. So the conference is gonna take place on the, by the sea, is in a lovely town called Viña del Mar, and this is very important, how to pronounce that name, because you will see a fancy N which is pronounced Viña. So you have three years to practice Viña. Viña. And also important, the final R is a hard R, Viña del Mar. So uh, I hope that you will practice Viña del Mar. So when somebody, family, friends ask you where you're going, you'll see, say the right name. Um, Viña is a really nice town. You can see the pictures. Of course, if you go to Google and um, Google any place, you'll find beautiful pictures. But this is actually the city, so that, that's not a false advertisement at all. Um, we are, of course, looking for the venue for the conference. Uh, we don't have such nice campuses there, so we'll go back to the more traditional hotel conference center. Uh, we have a casino as well for just, those of you who like to gamble. It's maybe one of the options to host the conference. We'll see if you will behave. Um, I cannot promise marachi, mariachis, but I will have margaritas, for sure. So you can count on that. This is the rough uh, draft of what we're planning to do. <laughs> we'll welcome you with a nice cocktail on Sunday, as you usually do. Then have all these kind of sessions, and I'm really eager to see uh, what kind of outcomes comes from the workshops. So that's gonna, gonna be presented there. Um, we'll have a cultural trip, I'll talk about it in a minute. Of course, I hand out the awards, Eric Paz and also the Lifetime Achievement Award, and finish with a, a closing dinner, which is gonna be on the last day, so none of you misses the following day's sessions, okay? About the cultural trip, it's gonna be to a nearby city called Valparaíso, which is 15 minutes drive from Viña del Mar, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So it's a really, really nice uh, city. You might say it's like an outdoor museum. So you just walk around the city, you see the murals and everything. Uh, we are not hippies, we are happy. That's kind of the lifestyle there. 
And as you can see in the bottom, it's actually a port. So I'll do my best to meet uh, Amalia's request of 10% papers about uh, freight. But it's up to you. I mean, you have to submit the abstract, not, not me. So, yeah, so, so we'll have a wonderful week there. Uh, it's, uh, the city is about an hour's drive from Santiago, the capital, the main city, of course, which has an international airport with connections to everywhere in the world. Uh, maybe Fiji as well. I'm not sure. Uh, and it has been a place for over a decade in these traditional top 10, pla top 10 places to visit in the world. It's a really growing, vibrant city. You will really enjoy it. And of course, you can also explore Chile because an important part of travel behavior is actually traveling. So you can be your own subject of interest and travel around uh, the country. You can go up north where you will find uh, deserts and geysers and different kind of landscape that maybe you're used to. Go to the best wineries in the world and taste the best wine in the world. Uh, maybe go down south to Patagonia and explore the, um, lakes and nature and trekking and maybe if you have the money and time, it's your opportunity to go to Easter Island and meet some wise as well. Uh, and why not continue your trip, explore South America. It's a really nice and diverse place to visit. Uh, and what better uh, opportunity or excuse than a conference to go there. So with that said, I'm really happy to welcome you in Vina in three more years. So see you all there.